pancreas. Yeah, listen, do you, no, you're, you, that's a really good question. Okay, so this is an add-on to the last video. So we have Aunt... Aunt Corey. Aunt Corey, Corey. in clinic. <laughs> Corey says, <laughs> Dr. Rutledge, uh, just a second. See, just a minute ago, I was claiming that the MGB was so wonderful about diabetes. And so oftentimes when you're hearing somebody, especially a man, <clears throat> brag, you want to kind of do a little reality testing. Say, Dr. Rutledge, you're claiming all these good things for the surgery. Uh, isn't it just the food? Isn't it just that you're eating less that causes the diabetes to go away? And here's the interesting answer. No. In other words, we used to think what you, your question implies, which is if we had two people and they both lost the same amount of weight, one with an MGB and one with just diet and exercise, who would have more improvement in their diabetes? Should be the same, right? No. It's not at all the same. <laughs> what happens is we found that there are other hormones from the pancreas and the foregut, the beginning of the small bowel, that affect sugar just like insulin. The two that are really affected are glucagon-like protein, one, GLP-1, and gastrointestinal protein, GIP. Glip and jip. And it turns out when you bypass that upper gut and the pancreas, glip and jip go up. And they are what are called incretins, which affect your sugar. So the surgery is actually a hormonal therapy of diabetes. Plus, if you bypass the pancreas in mice and then cut into it, the beta cells, the little beta cells that make insulin, grow. Pretty cool? Pretty cool. Yeah.